What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another new series, two for the day, I know, crazy. If you want to see an explanation of what's going on, check out the Brazil video that dropped earlier. But if not, if you're just interested in the U4, then stick around here, that's fine. We're going to be playing as, well, Ashikaga at the moment. I think they're the most powerful nation in Japan. Hope, hope so, because <laughs> that'll give me the best chance. Here's the DLCs I have on, as you will see. Mandate of Heaven is not on. So Ming probably won't fall apart. It might be this one. Whatever's going on in China, you guys might be used to if you have played or watch people who use the Mandate of Heaven. I don't know if my mouse is freezing. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, there's quite a few I don't have, to be honest. Um, a couple I do. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm just going to read through this to give me a better understanding of Ashikaga. I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, if I inform Japan, I'll be happy with that. That's a nice little goal for the series. That would be pretty cool. And then from there on, if we could go conquer some stuff, probably not in China, but like maybe do a sort of Imperial Japan kind of thing, head towards the Pacific, I don't know, see what we can do. So in the name, the Empire of Japan is ruled by Emperor Go Hanazono from Kyoto, I'm probably going to butcher all these names, from Kyoto, the late in a 2000 year line of emperors. In practice, the government of the realm has been left to the Shogun, normally the emperor's deputy in military matters. However, in 1444, because you know, the EU4... I, I don't know if that is that true. Is it 1444 or is that just made for the game to be a bit more fun? The Shogunate is not what it once was. Oh, okay, never mind. It, it didn't matter too much. A number of Ashikaga shoguns have passed in quick succession due to accidents and assassinations. On multiple occasions, raiders have proven Kyoto is not safe. Oh no. Ever, ever since the death of the later strong Ashikaga shogun Yoshimitsu, most powerful cl clans of the realm have come to rival the Shogunate for power. Leading lords of clans are known as daimyo and have almost total power over their respective realms. Some like the Hosokawa, Hatakiyama, and Shiba, closely tied to the shogunate and have monopolized the office of Kanrei, formal deputy office of the shogun. I'm not good at this reading stuff. <laughs> Others like the Yamana, Akamatsu, Ishiki, and Kiyogoku assert influence simply for their own wealth and influence. Interesting. I don't really, don't really know what that means in game, but... I don't know if we own those guys still. I think we own daimyos. I'm not really sure. Ashikage Yoshimasa, the current shogun, has begun to attempt to stem these developments, appointing his own close retainers to important positions and taking an active interest in local conflicts in the realm. It remains to be seen if he can save the shogunate, however, as other clans have wasted no time cap capitalizing. Is that a word? Capitalizing, oh my god, no. <laughs> sometimes like, my brain just doesn't process it, it's that word. <laughs> On the weakness of Yoshimasha's predecessors, the growing power of strong daimyo will threaten to make the shogunate inconsequential. I, I like how I got that one right first time, but not the other one. Rivalry of the Hosokawa and Yamana especially could tear the realm apart. So I think I own the guys it mentions here, so like these guys are not owned, but they're under our control. But they don't really like each other, and they want to take over. And I think these guys... Are separate or maybe the same i'm not really sure i think there's definitely at least one enemy we don't own all of it or have like vassals over all of it however it works could tear war as there is now control of the third empire between them religion shinto she gives 10 percent morale of armies nice not gonna argue there shinto native to japan pretty cool government okay Right, so shogunates are monarchies. This means the ruler is in place for life and that his succession is dependent on having a designated heir. Okay, so we need an heir. Heirs are required, acquired either over time or through eventual. Yeah, I know how that works. The monarch dies, a regency council. Okay, so that's all the same. They have consorts, yep, royal marriages, yep, so that's all the same. That's nice. Ashikaga is a shogunate. A shogunate can have any number of daimyo vassals and these vassals are allowed, war to wage wars, are allowed to wage wars against each other. Okay, yeah, so they can fight each other. But we own, we are the leader. We, I specifically picked the leader. <laughs> so we own them all. You will lose the shogunate's government if any daimyo conquers the imperial capital of Kyoto from us. To protect Kyoto at all costs. The government is augmented by the estates of the realm. Okay, so that's just normal estates. Environment, no region-wide mechanics. You're free to do what you want. So yeah, this is kind of going to be bare bones EU4. It's not going to be a HRE for us to worry about. I assume there is mechanics, the fact that it says none, would assume that if you had Mandate of Heaven, maybe maybe some of these other ones, I don't know, is Dharma, is this Dharma? That's in India. Sure there would be if we had those, but I don't. So as you see, there is plenty of nations in here. Uh, I think we're this one. We only have one province. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't sign up to play as a one province minor. What's going on? We seem to have the biggest army though, so I'll, I'll take that. 
But yeah, we, well, everyone. Okay, maybe, do we own everyone? I'm so confused. Okay, everyone is a vassal then, maybe. I thought, oh, we own this too. Okay, everyone's a vassal. No idea how we go about annexing them. It's too few rivals. Well, we can only rival Ming. So, we'll rival Ming. <laughs> Following Damios. Okay, well, that's fine. I assume it's pretty similar to vassals after, like, ten years. Annex vassal after ten years. Now, obviously, <laughs> we have to keep a lot of them happy for a long time. And um, we would have a difficult choice to make of whether we go for the board, making the borders look nice, or do we go for the bit like the bigger looking ones first? Big decisions to be made there in the future. But this is what we can see on the map. Pretty, pretty normal. I, I've never played outside of Europe. Like the Timurids, when I failed, is as far as I've stretched. So this is going to be quite the quite the journey for us. <laughs> we'll see how it all goes. Free advisor slot. Very nice. Um, but I guess we'll just go up to speed 3, hit play. I'll keep it to 3 just for a bit. I know I'm sort of notorious for speed 5. So these guys can all ally each other and fight each other. I don't know if I have to pick sides, and that's what breaks it up. Like, I'll lose some vassals when I do pick sides, maybe. We'll figure it out. I'm sure you guys know better than me, and you'll I'll pretty much be able to read your comments. I might be one episode ahead when you see this, but I'm just thinking in my head, will I? I might be one episode ahead. Like, that's it. So I'll be able to catch on pretty quickly. My Shogun, the rumor is spreading, is preparing to attack Uchi. Like, it would be nice if I could see. <laughs> Can't see who they are. And by the time I've zoomed out far enough, you're way too far away. Um, <laughs> that, that is annoying. Um, but yeah, I'll just, if, if wars break out, I can just switch to this map mode. Try and get a better understanding of who's who. Got four diplomats already. Um, I guess we could do with allies, right? Do we want allies? I'm not sure. Korea won't give us one anyway. I guess we improve relations with them though. Since they're going to be against Ming probably. Do these guys like us? Yep. Allied with Donghai. Not Songhai. It's like the rip-off version. Uh, Ainu. I guess we ally these guys to the north. I mean, we've got so much to do like internally that we don't really want to be fighting them. And I mean, that's pretty much us protected. I guess we can try and find somebody else that wants to be friends, but it doesn't look like anyone does. Yeah, no one else does, so, so that's fine. We'll just add them. That works for me, and they were happy to accept. I mean, that's just, they've got the four stack. That would be just a little bit extra on my team if something breaks out and I mess it all up too early on. Okay, those guys were, okay, that's not 12 stack. That's just lots of them stood together. Are you guys fighting each other already? No, okay. Sheba Conquest of Nanbu. Yamana v Amago. Damn it. <laughs> I have to find where all these places are. Okay, so I'm not involved, so I'll just keep an eye on out. Make sure no one gets too big. They all are still my vassals. I think it's... I don't know if I ever get called in. I don't really know. A country will take over the Shogunate and become overlord of all daimyo. By taking the province, tensions between Yamana spiraled out of control. What's, what's going on? A country can take over. Okay. So, I am now at war? I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is confusing stuff. Let's get a general in there, just in case. Um, and I guess I'll just protect Kyoto with my 11 stack. I'm not really sure what else I can do. I can actually build my army up a bit more. It's probably a good move. I know we don't have too much money, but that's probably worthwhile. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It says they can take us over. I mean, I'm stood here, so I assume they're not going to just waltz in and do it. But yeah, I don't really get how that works. Um, I'm sure we'll find out. But like I said, I have the strongest army, so that should be safe. And we have an heir. Nice. That's not me. One or more of your subjects have high liberty desire. Yeah, so I think some of them are going to break free. I don't think we're going to have them all forever. <laughs> Obviously, we'll try and conquer them back. But yeah, I think we're going to lose some of them. Like those guys. Don't, again, don't know who they are. Very hard to tell. <laughs> You've got to zoom out so far. I don't, I don't know if it's worth just going around. Shimatsu, Ito, Kikuchi, Otomo, Uchi... Hokusawa, so they're the green guys. These are the ones that are desperate to leave. As they are currently um, getting their butts kicked in a different war, I think we'll be fine. 
Right, how much money did that one thing cost us? About one ducat, okay. Fine. Just good to know. Let's just get up to 12. You know, I put some effort in, guys. If it all goes horribly wrong, I did try to make the army stronger. Believe me. I tried my best. We've, already, we've, we've got through a year, nearly, without breaking everything. Like that. Very good. Let's... Let's hit up those speed buttons, see what happens, hopefully not break anything too too important. Is anyone else? Is that the same notification? That's the same one. That's fine for now. I don't have to do anything about it. If we can get 10 years in, start to annex a couple of people, get stronger, and then work from there against any of the breakaway mess regions that sort of form. <laughs> Korea's still not interested. That, that sucks. We're not that strong. I mean, we are tiny. When we become Japan, they'll probably be, like, desperate. But at the moment, we're pretty small. <laughs> and in, in, like, because we are just two provinces in their eyes. And I assume that's all we'll be for a while. How how do we look for technology as um, Japan? 333. Three, three. But I assume there's going to be a lot of penalties. We're going to be getting them a lot slower than in the normal base in Europe. Um... So we'll probably be putting a lot of our points into developing provinces, which is something I've not really ever done before, because I'm a scrub. So um, we'll see how that goes for us. Like, when we only have a few provinces as well, I think that can be quite quite overpowered bit of ability. It's like, there's no point. I mean, are these even... They are going towards the technology. We need 598. The first ones are okay, but obviously once the institutions click in elsewhere, not so good. We have a revolt. That is not in my land. That's down there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to help them or just leave them be. I'm sure you guys will um, confirm. I'm, some of you guys are just amazing knowledge of this game. But yeah, for this sort of first episode, just coast through, read out the important things, make sure nothing too crazy happens, <laughs> basically. I guess I should improve relations with the guys that I want to sort of vassalize first. So we probably want to connect these two provinces in theory. I mean, I don't know if it matters too much. Or do we want to go for, like, the biggest nation? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is there a way to know which ones are the strongest? I guess we just... I guess you just go to the ledger and sort of guess off development. Although we don't seem... We seem quite low. <laughs> um, these, these... Like, Hosokawa is a bother. So, okay, so maybe we want... If they're going to be the troublesome one, maybe we want to get them in instead. So let's see if we can improve relations with them. That might reduce the liberty desire a little bit too. And if we could annex them first, then they're not going to run away. Just do it as soon as possible. National unrest or attempt to divorce the queen. A news opinion would be minus 75. They'll get an insult on us. Okay, let's take the unrest. I only have two provinces. It can't be too bad. I mean, I can't actually get to the other one, which is kind of concerning. There's other people stood in it as well. Are you allowed to be there? I assume you are. <laughs> He looks harmless. High liberty. 50. Okay, these are different ones. That's fine. Whoa, these guys got bigger. Great. You. Okay, they're like the northern dudes. Okay, I think it's going to be like between the. I would say between the green and these guys, but then the green guys are getting a shrink, a shrinking. You just. They just take something else. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. They probably are the most developed. So maybe we'll just go for all of these in one. I don't know if it will let us vassalize them, though. Like annex them. Maybe we can't annex them. I don't know how to do it, but uh, maybe they're too big. Doesn't look like that can happen, as they are a vassal. <laughs> so that's good. Why are they all just rivaling each other? Stop. It's been like, it's been three years now. Just chill. Don't need to do it all immediately. Dang. They're just rushing into it and getting it done. Fair enough. Respect them for that, I guess. June, June, anything, okay, just more wars, Daimyo Utsonomiya, declared war, okay, ooh, okay, those white dudes in the north getting very strong, can I, like, tell them to stop, can I, I'd be like, whoa, time to, no, I don't even have cases, but, like, they're our subject, yeah, the game is not liking that, okay, rebels broke, Ito is broken, what happened to them, <laughs> they just break, like, what? What sort of route? Does it not? It doesn't even give me any detail. That would have been fun to know. I don't even know where they are. Maybe they're gone. There are so many wars breaking out. These guys just can't stop. But it does seem to be blobbing out. Luckily, these scary guys might shrink a bit. 
in Sagami. Is that my province? Yes, I can't get over there. So gain five devastation. Lose ten prestige. Look, seven red. I think I can walk through. I'm just just think. Oh, sorry to the two stack that was already there. Oh yeah, I can just waltz on through. I assume. Oh, so maybe if I walk over here, maybe someone's going to try and steal Kyoto. Maybe that's what it meant. I don't know. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to rush back straight away. But there we go. That was an easy battle win. And we got a little boost for our general. And he can now head back. Just in case that's what it means. And so anyone can walk in any time and siege you out. But that's going to be it for episode one. If you'll leave some comments with some suggestions to help me out along the way. Or marriage. Oh, I don't see why not. That's probably like going to break the whole thing, isn't it? Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.